Finds like this don't happen all the time. Is this play mini disc? We've got to find this man a mini disc player. So Brian just tucked it out. Tchotchke. I'm wondering if there's anything left at the other swap meet. It's long been said that going game hunting at 10 a.m. is a fruitless endeavor. Well, I'm here today to change that narrative. I'm gonna see if I can find one item that's a good deal at 10 a.m. Is it possible? Do you feel the tension right now as I narrate about this? Can I just say, the tension radiating through the screen while I'm editing this, off the scales. Let's see what happens. I start to walk down that aisle and I'm looking left and I'm looking right. I enable my eagle eye vision and I'm looking everywhere, slowly, methodically. In slow motion, time is moving even though it's in real time and I'm accessing every part of my brain that sees video games. Will I find something? Will there be something for me? Will there be a great deal still to be had at the swap meet? Let's be real though, there's nothing here. There's nothing left for me here. What am I even doing? Why am I even doing this? What is wrong with me? I should go home. There's no deals to be had. It's a waste of time. Oh. How much for just the games? You're only selling it all together? Yeah. Okay. Can you do 90? Are you firm on 100? I was asking what you thought of like, since I can go. Yeah. This thing is in near perfect condition. I see almost no wear and tear on it at all. The screen is really nice and clean. He wants $100 for the lot. Now I would have passed on it. I really would have, except did you know that this game, number one, that it exists, and number two, that it's worth like 40 plus dollars. This is the Aladdin game from Capcom that I believe is just a copy of the Super Nintendo game with a little bit of extra features to it. Critics at the time really didn't care about it because they're like, why am I playing the Super Nintendo version of Aladdin? Because it's awesome. This is one of the most fun games you can play on the Super Nintendo. I didn't even know this existed. I've literally never seen it before. Once I saw this, plus all the other games in the lot, $100 sold. Okay. Hundred bucks. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. First aisle. Found a deal. That was quick. How much are controllers? Uh, Twenty. Twenty. How much are uh, sure. these cables? Uh, that one, three dollars. Three dollars. Okay. And this one? Uh, that's what, five. Five? Don't sleep on the Sony component cables for the PS2. These are backwards compatible with the PS3 as well. It's the same exact input. I play my PS2 with component cables. It looks the best. I use them on a CRT. They're worth like 40 or 50 bucks for authentic Sony brand component cables. Also at the table was this N64 power supply. Look, I see the consoles all the time, but often they're missing the power supplies. Anytime I find these for cheap, I'm always gonna get them. And this controller is in great shape. Taking the risk because I've had really bad luck with the controllers lately. He threw in that controller for about 14 bucks, which is a great deal. About half the price of what those controllers normally go for. I'm on the second aisle. I found more stuff. What the heck? This Metroid Special Edition is in pretty rough shape. The box has a lot of imperfections to it. Would you do 60 on it? 75 is cheap. Okay. But he was saying he wouldn't budge on 75, so I left it behind. Nothing on the last aisle, but I'm at Michael's booth. This is it. This is my last chance. I feel like every week I go to this swap meet, I always find something hidden in the nooks and crannies of his booth and today was no exception. Bayonetta 2, this is brand new, factory sealed. It's pushing about 50 bucks right now. You got any room on that? 30? I'll put 30. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna grade it and exploit the market as soon as I can. Thank you. Or not. What I am gonna do though is say thank you so much for zip.